Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all well. So, in case you guys can't notice, I have a backdrop situation going on now. Um, so I am in the process of trying to get this properly hung up, but I am not there yet because um, I need someone to install it for me. So yeah, I'm not there yet. But anyways, for today's video, I'm doing something that is super long and awaited. I am... I've been wanting to film this for so many days, but you guys have no motivation to do anything lately. Um, which isn't good because my exams are coming up. And I've been putting off so much things to do. And I think I'm just in a rut in terms of life in general. So I'm so sorry, but we are back and in full swing. And I'm going to film tomorrow, hopefully too. So I'm super excited about that. So for today's video, we're filming our long-awaited She Glam testing ma She Glam makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys today. So I bought a bunch of stuff from Shilam, which I'll show you as I'm going through everything. And I'll hopefully um, let you guys know how much each stuff costs. I've tried most of these things, if not all. There's like two or three of things I didn't completely use yet. But yeah, I wanted to come on here and show you guys. And in case you guys didn't know, Shilam is Shein's makeup brand. And they're really good at coming out with inexpensive makeup products like around elf range but even um cheaper than that i'd say and they are just killing it in the makeup game lately and you guys i may have discovered some of my holy holy grail makeup products once i was trying these out so this isn't a first impression i am just testing these products and i think this brand even though it's getting a lot of hype on instagram it deserves its own separate video because i just feel like these products are killing it and I was so impressed, like so, so, so impressed. So to start off, I'm just priming my eyelids. I got this She Glam Versatile Flawless Concealer and I got this in the shade, I don't know. So I got this in the shade Tahiti and this is $4, you guys. $4 for 25 grams, which is so much. And I'm just using this as an eyeshadow primer. As you guys can see, this is on the lighter side, but that is fine because I have found a way to use all of these products. Like I said, there's one product I haven't used um, from here, so that'll be interesting to try out together. And hint, it's a product I never use, so that'll be interesting. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Next, I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow brush like this. And I'm just trying to use mostly She Glam products, but there's some stuff I have to substitute for obvious reasons. So I'm taking my um, a brown shade from my Patrick Star uh palette and I'm just using a brown in my crease just like this These, uh, shadows are so pigmented and I always forget and I apply like too much because I'm used to my other shadows which are super light and you just build them up and then I use stuff like this and I'm like oh god what did I do so on good news it's starting to warm up here in Vancouver which is doing wonders for my mood i just feel so lazy lately which i don't know why but i need to get back into the swing of things because i have exams coming up i'm supposed to be hustling in the gym i haven't done that and um these are times when i should be hard on myself because i need to get it done but i'm just not so yeah just uh if you guys are in the same place as me and need some motivation i'm not the person <laughs> okay this battery's dying good thing i have a backup one so I have my eyeshadow on, just the crease, like this. Okay, I didn't do anything, I just had to change out the battery. Okay, so next I'm going in with the Jelly Wow Eyeshadow Pops by She Glam. These are $3.50, which is incredible to me. And I got these in the shade Rowdy and in the shade uh, Nova Glow. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you. Okay, I'm horrible at swatching, but if you can see... That's Nova Glow and that's Rowdy, I believe. So since we already have our crease shadow on, I'm gonna go in with the shade, uh, what is this? Pop Nova, sorry, Nova Glow. And I'm gonna take it on a brush. Okay, so I'm taking it on a brush like this. I'm just gonna go in and apply it all over my lid. Now I love these because they're so low maintenance. You guys know I'm all about that easy peasy life, so. You just swipe these on the lid and they look so good. Um, I think it was my last suit or the one before that where I was saying I'm like really into cream and jelly products lately just because I feel like they're so easy to use and 
I feel like it would be really nice if I take these two with me when I am traveling this year because I feel like they're easy and like practical and I also feel like there's no room for these breaking and shattering like powder ones which um, I unfortunately have had to deal with in the past so that is the shadow not sure if you guys can see now I'm gonna go in with the brush we had used before and I'm going out with my Jeffree Star palette and I'm just taking a lighter brown and just blending out the outer corners like I said you guys are doing a super easy look cuz as the weather gets warmer, I feel like my eye makeup gets more effortless and easy, so I don't like to do anything too dramatic or complicated. Not that I ever do anything too complicated, but you know. But I feel like this is so easy and practical for like summer and stuff. I'm sweating. These lights are no joke, so I can't even open a window because I feel like all you will hear, all you will hear are cars. Okay, next I'm using the um, Birthday Skin Primer. This is also from She Glam. I don't know why I'm saying that. Everything's from She Glam. And this, you guys, I have loved. So this looks like this. This kind of feels like it would be something similar to like Elf's Putty Primer. But it is high. <laughs> but it is hydrating and it comes with a little applicator like this, which I love. I've used this a couple of times and I have to say it's really nice. So once you apply it, it like completely turns into like a really hydrating feeling product. Feels nothing like the uh, putty primer by elf, but I thought the concept was the same, you know So then I'm gonna take a brush <laughs> and I'm gonna take the elf stipple brush. and I'm just going to blend this in I've been loving this primer. It is Amazing at hydrating your skin, but I also feel like it perfects your skin to prepare for makeup, so I've been loving that and this is $6. I don't know if I mentioned the price, but this whole big jar is $6, which is impressive. I was shocked with the prices of these products also. Um, if you order off their website personally, that I, I found that these arrive really quickly for me personally. So uh, don't take my word for it if you order and it takes longer. But these order, these arrive super quickly. So I thought that was really nice. So I made two separate orders. <laughs> and that's why I waited to film this video because I wanted to try and see an almost like complete full face of trying their stuff but yeah okay so I feel like this doesn't necessarily fill in your pores but I feel like it makes your skin look like super even I feel like it's smooth like I don't necessarily feel like it smooths in my pores in the terms of it being like a silicone type primer but I definitely see an improvement in my skin and like I feel like makeup just glides on with this which I love so, next, uh, this brand does not unfortunately have a color corrector, none that I could find unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and take the same concealer that we were using in the beginning. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that under my eye. So we're going to have to improvise because this doesn't have a color corrector. Uh, that I could find on the website, so maybe they did, God knows. Uh, but I guess I didn't get one, I don't know. I don't think they had one though, but uh, this concealer is on the pinkier side, so I feel like it would work as a color corrector. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it does. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that. Next, I'm taking the She Glam uh, lashes. These are in the Girl Next Door eyelashes in the style G, I believe. That's what it says in there. Girl, Girl Next Door and then G at the bottom. I don't know if that's the name. But I thought these looked like nice lashes. Not sure if you guys can see. So we're going to go ahead and try these on. I have not tried these on. This is one of the two things. I haven't had the chance of trying the opportunity of trying them on so we're about to see if it's a disaster or not because you guys know eyelashes are not my strongest forte but we're going to see anyways we're just gonna have to see okay we have one lash and I don't know how I feel about these and that's only for the reason of me being good at doing this which I'm not so I am struggling these are 
not easy to put on but that could just be me like i said i'm not a professional with this kind of stuff so these lashes cost 250 and you're getting three pairs of them so you're not gonna find lashes for that cost anymore our dull ones are like pretty freaking expensive now even kiss lashes are starting to get expensive this brand's price point is like ridiculous because nothing they sell for the prices they do exist anymore like drugstore is not even as cheap as they advertise it i know elf is starting to raise their prices too but elf is i feel pretty affordable for what they create being like one of the biggest drugstore brands but yeah it is definitely way cheaper than anything i have used before and the quality is up on par with a lot of other things so i know i tend to use a lot of like high-end stuff on my channel which is was not my original goal <laughs> um it's just that i love makeup in general and i like to try new things but you guys just need to know that if you want to create a beautiful makeup look, you don't need to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars. You can easily achieve it with products from the drugstore. I wish this brand was sold inside stores, but I don't think it ever will be. Just because Shein is an online brand, so... I don't know how these lashes look. Could you guys tell me in the comments, like, if it looks bad or not? Like, could you tell I have lashes on? In the mirror, you definitely can. But, um... The bands like really stiff. Maybe that's why I couldn't put them on. Um, maybe these need to be worn a few times. I don't know. Okay, next I'm going in with the foundation. And I was originally going to get the only foundation I saw on the website, which appeared to be a matte one. But thankfully, scrolling down like 10 pages, I found that they have a hydrating foundation called the Skinfinite Hydrating. So I was super excited when I saw this. I also love that these come in like these luxurious pouches. I don't know. Anyways, these foundations were $9. And I got them in two shades, nude and warm vanilla so we're gonna go ahead and use warm vanilla today neither of these are my shade but like i said these concealers that i bought um the concealer that i bought hopefully will help in something god knows okay so i'm using a pump of that i'm gonna go ahead and switch my face i've been loving this lately this is so off topic but this is the glow recipe watermelon glow uh ultra fine mist i love it because it's super hydrating and It smells amazing and I love applying foundation on top of this. So, okay, anyways, not the point. So I'm just taking a little bit and patting it in. So this foundation, I would say, is like a medium coverage. Um... I think you probably could build it up, but every time I've worn it, um, I can definitely still see my skin through. And I think the other day that I was wearing it, my sister had noticed, shout out to my sister if you're watching this, um, that she said my skin was showing through. But I don't know if she meant it in a bad way. <laughs> so, because I don't have like cute freckles or anything. If I did, I probably wouldn't mind like coverage foundations, but you could see my skin through this like definitely can but for today and for you guys i want to show you two layers of this so i'm going to do two pumps for my whole face i think the shade match is not that bad but um like once i use my other products i feel like it all just goes together anyways but yeah not bothered by it at all so she that was the shade warm vanilla and i'm taking the shade nude and I'm taking a pump of that. And I'm going to do the same thing. You guys probably don't think this is excessive. But we want full coverage today. So. There's some products like that I should have probably gotten from this brand that I didn't because I was considering the fact that I have an excessive amount of that product already in my collection and I'm starting to worry about how I'm going to use things before they expire so for example this brand does have its own powder but I did not buy any because you guys I have a drawer full of powders I recently bought like this little draw drawer thing for my um to organize my makeup and I have a lot of powders and I think I just need to use them because I know they're going to expire so i refrained from buying a powder from this brand not because i think their powders suck i'm sure it's good but i just thought 
that would be a little excessive so yeah anyways now I feel like this is definitely on the fuller cover side I see a little bit of my skin through but I don't want to achieve a whole cake face situation so I'm going to continue dabbing this in so that was the foundation I honestly love this foundation I think it is really good and I think a lot of people would really like this they have two formulas so they have one if you're on the matter into matter foundations uh, which I wasn't going to try because I know I prefer hydrating anyways and then they have the hydrating version so yeah super nice nine dollars like i said which is super great price i cannot put this back in getting this back in the pouches is like <laughs> the bane of my existence like why isn't this going in i'm also excited because i've had these all in this bin and now i can put them in my in my um makeup collection because i knew if i left them out i'd be quicker to filming this video so don't ask me why anyways I'm next taking the She Glam Highbrow Shaping Wax. I have bought this way earlier. You guys know I feature this on my channel, but I'm just gonna use this. Seems appropriate since we're using mostly She Glam products. I'm just gonna use this to shape my eyebrows. I actually cut them today. Please do not tell my parents. I don't think they'd be happy with me, but I did cut them today because although I don't do my brows yet, they need to be cut. They're like way too long, so yeah. And I didn't get a brow product because you guys know I use like eyeshadow and stuff for my brows so I didn't think it was necessary to get a brow product. Okay so I'm just using this Essence um, Make Me Brow. I got this in a lighter shade than the one I had. So it's my first time trying this on camera. I'm pretty sure this is for blondes but yeah it's for blondie brows but I'm using it anyways. I feel like if my brows were filled in with a lighter product it looks a little nicer less noticeably bushy I don't know my ancestors are probably screaming at me right now like you're lightening your brows you weirdo just kidding I don't think they're thinking that but I don't know why I feel like if I fill them in darker I just look like it looks so dramatic maybe once they're done they would look nicer if they're filled in lighter I also want to mention that putting in the wax probably made them a little white <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and pretend that these look like my normal brows so next I have two concealers these are the 12 hour full coverage concealers these are four dollars each and I got the shade cotton candy and Madeline now in the tube or whatever I can't tell what color is darker or lighter so I'm just gonna swatch these just to get a little bit of a uh, memory refresher okay so that's Madeline and this is cotton candy Okay, so we're going to go in with both, but I'm going to use Madeline first. So, I'm using that right here. Okay. Holy bright, okay. <laughs> we might have to use a powder that's a little bit warmer because I look like Casper. So I can definitely do with um, a warmer powder and I can also consider getting a darker shade of this. So, <laughs> you guys, I also have lights on, so please just keep that in mind before you um, judge my, my choices of color selection. But in person, it does not look that bad, like, I promise you. Oh god, <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go in with um, ColourPop's Banana Powder. I'm taking a little bit of this. I never, I barely use this now because it's really warm. But I feel like this is gonna be good for what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of this and I'm just patting it in right here. And right here. So... 
that looks better, right? Like, much better than this side, jeez. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll just stick to using this powder. Um, I was gonna use a lighter one in conjunction, but I think this is fine on its own. So again, I'm taking a little bit of this, dabbing off the excess, and patting it in, like so. Okay, next product I want to show you guys is my favorite thing I've discovered from this whole entire brand, you guys. Um, I think these are the best drugstore or like low price point products I ever used before I continued not making sense anymore. I'm just going to tell you what these are. These are the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush. These are the best, um, one of the best blushes I've ever used in my life, you guys. I'm not even joking you. You've probably seen these on Instagram a ton and there are these brush, uh, blushes that come with little sponges on them. You guys, these are amazing. I got one when I first bought um, my first round of products and then I made an order for three more of them. So I have the shades Hush Hush, Love Cake, Float On, and Devoted. Oh my god, you guys. Get these. If there's one thing you're going to get from this brand, get these. They're amazing. They're so easy to use. They don't lift your other products. They're just, they feel so luxurious. I cannot believe that they are so inexpensive. And so these are $5, you guys, $5. So blow your mind, I know. So I'm gonna swatch these for you because I'm so excited for you guys to see these. So this is the shade Love Cake. <gasps> I just spilled some. <laughs> Oopsies, I got excited. This That's Love Cake Devoted. Uh, what was this again? Flow on and hush hush. So that is what they look like. Uh, excuse me while I clean the mess I just made. What the heck? I think we will do flow on. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead. Actually, I just realized. Should I be applying bronzer first? I got a Sun Sculpt liquid contour. Um, you guys, I never contour, you guys know that. Uh, this was also $5, so I think you're supposed to contour first, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like maybe you contour first. I don't know. Anyway, sorry, that's like so awkward that I showed you all that, I made a whole big deal, and now I'm just doing this. Okay, I haven't even used this yet, you guys, so this is in the shade Golden Sun. <laughs> and I don't contour or bronze, but we're going to swatch this. I'm going to swatch this for you guys. That's what it looks like. This looks like it'd be a really nice uh, cream, what's it called? eyeshadow too so I never contour you guys I've never done it I've never bronze but I'm gonna go ahead and try and I saw a trick on Instagram that says right where your cheekbone ends is where you should put things so I'm just gonna put two dots I don't know how much you're supposed to use god help me I'm contouring for the first time I don't know what I'm doing so we're gonna go ahead and use a real techniques um, expert face brush okay my first time contouring I don't know how this is supposed to look I know everybody thinks I know what I'm doing but I don't you guys like it's my first time contouring okay just two I don't know how this is supposed to look okay so I'm just blending it in and then just extending it out okay okay now that's done, I don't know if that made any difference. Uh, I never contour my nose. <laughs> These are all new things for me. We're going to go ahead and try it. Okay. You guys, the things I do, I don't even know. Should I even be doing this because I don't know what I'm doing? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Maybe a little too much. This is blending really nicely, though I have to say. It blends beautifully. My nose looks smaller does it or do i just look like i put a lot of mud on my nose okay i don't know how that looks anyways we're gonna go on with the blush that i was so excited to use i'm using the shade float on and i'm just gonna apply one two and three like this and i'm going to blend i'm taking my elf angled blush brush and i'm just putting that in like so Look at this, you guys. 
Look at this blush. It is amazing. Okay, I love this blush so much. I've used this like after I've even set my face, you guys. I have to say this blush amazes me every single time I use it. It looks amazing. They're pigmented. Um, they're super inexpensive. They just blend it beautifully. They're effortless. Like, usually when you think of cream blushes and stuff now, they're so scary to use because they're so dramatic. But this is, like, so easy to work with. You don't look like a clown. I just, I just freaking love it. So, just taking my Lawless powder. I'm just taking this on areas where I know I'm going to get a little shiny. So, I'm just putting it in my smile lines. You have to be like super soft when patting in your powder, I feel like, because otherwise by the time I come home and it's like the end of the day, it looks like the powder I put on, I put it on in a really weird way and it's just settling weirdly and I look like super cakey. I think I did that to my laugh lines. I think I should have patted in my foundation first, but I didn't. But anyways, just lightly powdering. I feel like I learned this the hard way, you guys. Less is more with powder. So, you know, use sparingly. <laughs> a little bit at a time, you know. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this bronzer on my nose situation or contour, but we're trying new things. It's okay. Okay, next I also got two liners from this brand. I got the shade uh, Momojo and raisin and these were three dollars so and these are the retractable liners this one is brazen and this one is momo joe and i love these so much these are amazing uh i'm gonna go in with the shade brazen are we surprised no okay and these are as i said retractable and they have a sharpener in the end a lot of lip liners that are retractable have sharpeners at the end just in case you guys didn't know and i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips Uh, lip liners are something else I recommend, highly recommend. Lastly, I'm using a lip tint, and this is uh, called the Take a Hint Lip Tint in Birthday Lips. And this was $5, and you guys, this is amazing. I definitely think I would repurchase more of these. Uh, this is super amazing formula. My favorite thing about this is once this dries down, and kind of like wears a little bit. It ends up being a stain-like thing, so it tints your lips. And I just love how it looks. Super low maintenance, but offers amazing color. This is so pretty. I love it so much. And you guys, that is the completed She Glam makeup. I am obviously missing highlighter, which I'm wondering if I should put on. I feel like I look glowy already, and I look like Casper, so I don't know. If I should, I'm kind of liking it without right now. I've never said that out loud, but um, I feel okay to not have highlighter on right now. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Is it a look though? I don't know. Anyways, um, maybe I'll apply it later. I'm not sure. But that is my completed She Glam makeup look. You guys, I highly, 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 highly recommend this brand. If there are a few products that you would like me to point out that I feel like are MVP and you should, should, should get... First is the blushes, like please get these, these blushes are amazing. Second are the um, jelly eyeshadows, and third are the lip liners. The lip liners are amazing, um, I love these so much, I would definitely buy these again and again and again, and I am looking forward to continuing to experiment with the foundations, I've only worn these like two, three times, but I feel like right now it's wearing beautifully, I freaking love it, I love how this makeup looks. My least favorite thing probably is the eyelashes because they were so hard to put on and that is mostly my fault because I don't know what I'm doing with these, okay. Just wanted to show you guys. I freaking love this. I think it is so beautiful. I'm like looking at everything right now. I love the eyeshadows. I love everything, you guys. Like, I don't think any of these are bad products. I just feel like everything looks so beautiful together. I don't know. I love it. I love it so much so definitely check out this brand i was about to say i have a coupon code but i definitely don't uh in my dreams do i have a coupon code from any kind of brand i don't know why that would come out of my mouth 
but definitely check out this brand and um, please let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!